everybody welcome back to my channel I'm really really excited to tell you this story today because ooh, it's good it's really good um, I had a really really beautiful week really profound week um, I had a breakthrough I had a breakthrough in my healing journey I went to a healing intensive retreat with my mom, a Spring Force Qigong retreat, and as some of you know, I've been a Spring Force Qigong practitioner and student of Master Wins for many years. It's been 15 years now. So I met him when I was a little eight-year-old, eight or nine-year-old, and I have really grown and flourished and blossomed because of this work and because of being in his presence and learning so much and um, all of my big moments have been I would say initiated from what I have learned from Master Lin and being able to understand how my energy works and how to continue to go to deeper levels within myself and to heal myself to deeper levels. It's because of Spring Force Qigong, it's because of Master Lin. And so I just want to preface that um, because as you know, some of you know, um, I've talked about on, on my channel here quite often lately that I've really been going through quite a transformational time um, a healing time physically a healing time emotionally a healing time spiritually and this is the most enlightening most awakening and most tough time of my life I have ever been through so there's not a guidebook, there's not a 12-step process to go through these passages. So I've just had to kind of um, read a lot of sacred text and I've been getting guidance personally from Master Lin. And that has been really, really helpful. But again, just knowing that sometimes uh, the soul needs to walk through the experience and um, that is the way to heal something from the root, whether that be something from this lifetime, whether it be something from a past lifetime, or whether it may be a physical blockage. Um, all of those things can also go together. So going into this week, I knew that I had all of the above, and I knew that it was going to be really powerful because I always feel most myself, most comforted, most empowered when I am in this community. Like I said, it's been really, really powerful for me my entire life. Just like in Harry Potter, when Dumbledore says, help will be offered to you for those who ask for it. It's just like that. And so going into this week, I was dealing with anxiety, depression, migraine headaches, kundalini awakening, um, just this overall feeling of trappedness because I felt that I had tried everything and I felt that being so cut off spiritually was really taking a toll on me and I felt that way I've always been very connected and you know all of you know me as somebody that does soul readings for other people somebody that's written a channel book and many people say to me why don't you just do that? Why don't you just go into your meditation and do a reading about it on yourself? And um, to be honest with you, it got to such a point where I really did feel cut off. And I knew that there would be passages like that in which it would happen to me. 
I did not know the depths that it would take me. And that is the honest truth. I did not know the depths in which this journey can take a soul. Um, but in reading a lot of sacred text, I determined that it is a very common passage for those who are really dedicated to their path spiritually. And furthermore, I have asked for it. I continued and continued and continued over the years to ask for anything that is no longer serving me, any karmas, any fears, any negative energies or emotions that are not serving me on my path to come up so they could be released. So that's what's been going on in the last year. If anybody wanted to, you know, question what was going on or ask me what is going on, that's the short answer. Um, on the outside, it looks like all of those physical things that I named first, but what was really going on was a really deep karmic issue. So again, that doesn't make you feel any less alone when you're going through it or any less uh, necessarily comforted when you were going through it. The soul must still walk through the experience. So anyhow, uh, we walked into the retreat last Sunday and I was feeling all of the things. I was feeling all of the things all at once and um, the minute that I stepped in and saw all my friends and walked into the room I tell you, the healing energy was so palpable. You could cut through it with a knife. It was like my body got all hot and I felt this heart opening. I started like grinning for no reason and I was really ill when I walked in. I was really ill. Um, my mom was like propping me up because I was dizzy and migrainy and all, all of these things. And so just being in that energy already started to work, started to heal me. And I just said to myself that I'm going to surrender. All my worries, all my concerns, I'm just going to surrender it. And I really did feel that it would be a breakthrough time for me. All of the signs were there. I had been coming, I would, everything was coming to a head. And all of the signs were there that a breakthrough was going to happen. So I let go. We began our first meditation and as predicted, I started going into a scary experience. Um, what had normally been a scary experience in meditation where my body would start to disintegrate sand would come and wash me away. Now, any human being, any regular functioning human being would not like that experience because when you cease to exist or your ego ceases to exist, your body will freak out because you chose to be here. You chose to be in this body. And when you feel that you are losing grip of that, that is something that would freak anybody out. So this had been happening to me every single day for the past around six months. It's been happening. Anytime I would try to meditate, that would start happening. So I was really scared. And that experience first happened to me in 2015 when I was a deep, in a deep meditation um, at another Spring Forest Qigong retreat. So I knew there was some karmic stuff that needed to be worked through. So. At this particular time, I said, I'm going to let the sand come. I'm going to let it disintegrate me. I'm going to let my ego die. I'm going to, I'm going to move with it because I'm safe. And it started to happen and I said, it's okay. Let it come, let the sand come. There's nothing that is going to wash away who I am because I'm not this body. So I let it come. It washed me away, turned me into a pile of sand and then the second scary experience which used to really bother me was the dragon uh, a dragon came to me uh, coming out through this mist this milky mist and um that was something that i was told 
was past life karma that needed to be worked through. And I've been working personally with Master Lin for a while and he's really assisted me in so many ways. Um, but I knew, okay, I needed to make peace with this dragon. I need to meditate face to face with this dragon. So I took that opportunity in that med first meditation to make peace with the dragon. And I tell you what, the sand and the dragon experience both did not bother me one bit because I allowed myself to go and I was ready to go into it. So that was pretty powerful in itself. I came out of that meditation, anxiety gone, headaches gone, nausea gone, dizziness gone, everything gone. So I'm like light as a feather. We go to dinner, have a great time talking with people. And now I'm like, okay, I'm confident. I'm ready to go deep. And after dinner, there was a meditation that we could go to, it was optional. I was like, I am taking up every opportunity. This is an intensive healing retreat. I'm going to just go full on into it. So we do an hour and a half meditation and it was probably the most powerful moment um, of the entire week. Um, actually, that, that was really powerful. Um, we did some chanting and we did, I can't remember, I think it was just sort of like a freestyle meditation, but all of the Qigong masters were coming around us and doing healings on all of us personally. So that was one of the beautiful things about this week is that you were completely and unconditionally supported the entire time. Like anything you needed, you could ask a Qigong master to work on you or just listen to your story. If you had questions or concerns or worries or anything, like they were there to help. So they were doing uh, Qigong on all of us and I'm sitting there and when I started chanting, so Master Lin gave us these number codes that he meditated on for each one of us personally. There was 120 people there and we each got our own set of numbers that were of the vibration to help us personally with our healing. And it was so incredible. Like we each got like a handwritten card from him and with these numbers. So I was like, wow, like that's amazing. So I started chanting these numbers and I just went straight into the void again, like picked up from where I left off earlier that evening. And I, I just felt this immense peacefulness and contentment. And I had not felt that, I had not felt that in I think four and a half years since the last retreat I went on. That's a long time to not feel peacefulness and contentment. That's a long time to feel separated from the divine. <laughs> um, you know, there's glimpses, but I'm talking about the root, like your being, feeling that feeling. That's a long time. So I was so happy when this started happening, when I started feeling that, I was so happy. And I, yeah, I was just so deep in the void. I was so deep and then I hear this voice that says, the guide is inside. And that was in response to me feeling the Qigong masters coming around and I said, okay, good, 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 they're here. Like I feel protected. But then this voice was saying, no, the guide is inside. And I said, okay, I'm activating my healing energy. I focused on my heart and I saw the sun starting to grow in my heart. And then pretty soon I am like beside a window. Like I saw myself standing over here and a window opens and it says, God is opening a door for you. This is just intuitive in my mind. Like God is opening a window for you. That's what it was, a window for you. And so I'm like, okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> and 
then this like sunlight, like again, it was over here, that's why I'm looking over here, but sunlight was just streaming in, just streaming in and hitting my entire body. And there's a bee on my camera. Come on, little bee. Um, just streaming in and hitting me like my entire body and I just felt like all of my blockages were going away. Everything was going away. And I opened my eyes a few times and it was just like, it was just locked in. I, I was just so locked in and nothing could bring me out of that state. And it was just like, yes, like I can touch that again, yes. And all of the feelings of disconnectedness and anxiety and depression and scared and just so many scary feelings that I was having were gone. They're just completely gone. It was like they weren't even there. And so I felt many things when the Qigong masters were walking around me, felt many sensations, but I really felt too that I had allowed that experience to come. I had set that experience up. And there were a lot of people crying in the room, just having their own healings and releases. And it was just really, really powerful and beautiful. I don't know if I've ever experienced something that unique and powerful in the way that I was the most surrendered I think I ever have been. I was needing it the most. I've been to things before where I needed healing energy, but not to this extent where it felt like my life depended on it. And so it really just came to a head. And I was so grateful that ex for that experience when I came out of the meditation. I just couldn't even talk. I was just like, I was still in it for the rest of the night. And we were driving home I just there was nothing in me that could shake me out of it and we made it home uh, the 45 minute drive without a headache without dizziness without anxiousness I was just like in the zone I was in the zone and I tell you what I was not able to get into the car for five or ten minutes before to drive. I had not driven alone in six months because of my symptoms. So to be in the car for 45 minutes and to feel nothing except for contentment and peace and gratitude, it was like mind blown, you know? And of course I knew it was possible, but I just, it was crazy. It was really crazy. And so that was the first day. <laughs> that was the first day. So then we had three more days left to do it all over again. And it was one thing after the next like that. Nothing peaked to that experience for me. Um, but it was many moments after that which were really beautiful and um, I just felt like I was there with my family you know like I grew up with Spring Forest Qigong and I have always wanted to be a Qigong master since I think like really when I met Master Lin and things have come and gone you know many things have woven into my life since that realization um, being a musician being an author doing soul readings all of these things but I always come back to this purpose and what this weekend really gave me or this week gave me was the clarity that my health and wellness is my ultimate goal in my life and that I can help people through suffering once I have healed myself <laughs> and 
my purpose can be elevated once I heal myself fully and completely. And that I, again, I really want to become a Qigong master. I really want to get to that level of being the master of my own energy, being able to help others to a deeper level. It all fits together in that purpose. Everything else fits together. And it really just became very clear to me. It's become very clear to me before, but I was never to the point of surrendering as deeply as I am now because I had to go through so much that really made me say, okay, okay, for real this time, okay, for real this time. So, I had a really, really amazing time, and I had a really big breakthrough. There were plenty of other people that had big breakthroughs. There was a woman sitting in front of me who came in with a wheel, in a wheelchair, neck brace, everything. She told her story at the end of the retreat, um, saying that she would wake up for years, years in level 10 pain, screaming in pain. Wow. How humbling is that, you know? I thought that I was having a hard time. Level 10 pain every morning for years? I can't, I can't even conceptualize that. Well, you know, throughout all of those days, I was seeing her eyes brightening every day, coming in with her husband. And I saw her smiling a little bit. I saw her uh, finding the joy a little bit and by the last day this is so unbelievable by the last day we we're practicing Qigong standing up right so I see her start standing up out of her wheelchair standing up out of her wheelchair that she was she was laying down in this wheelchair neck brace and everything this was all gone all of a sudden she starts sta standing up out of her wheelchair and she's practicing qigong standing up with all of us i was like this is absolutely unbelievable i watched it happen right in front of my eyes um this stuff works not only does it work on the physical level it works on the mental emotional spiritual level it is the number one thing that has worked for me in my entire life the one thing that I can always count on the one thing that I can relax about whenever I do Qigong I'm going to feel better Master Lin is the only one in the history of Qigong that has developed a program that utilizes emotions along with the movements. And so, for example, with this movement, we feel happiness. With this movement, we feel joy. There's one for contentment. There's one for peace and groundedness. There's one for gratitude. And all of these emotions are direct triggers, direct correlations to our organs. So, for me, you know, working on the peace and groundedness one, um, working on the peace and groundedness one is going to help with my stomach and spleen because when I've used so much energy being anxious, I'm depleting my stomach and spleen energy. So, that's, that's the um, reason why it works so well, it works so well. Um, you know, there's another woman who had a big breakthrough. She said half of her body was like uh, numb or something like that, like felt like sort of paralyzed tightness and everything. We were doing um, small universe meditation and after that she, she could move. She could move both sides of her body. So I was watching all these things just like wow and um, I wasn't going to tell my testimonial, but I figured at the end, like, it's powerful for other people to hear 
your story, which is why I'm making this video as well. Um, and so I did. I ended up telling my testimonial. And yeah, my four days in a row, I had no headaches, no anxiety, no depression, no dizziness. Um, nothing that I came in with, I left with. And most of all, I really got my life back because I now feel this, I feel not everything is gone, of course, but I feel this sense of purpose and power, empowerment that I didn't before. And I have stayed on my practice ever since. So I, I just feel really powerful right now. I feel like now when I practice, I am just continuing doing the work that I started with and I'm further along my path to helping more people. And I just want to share this story for people that may be looking for something. Um, Spring Forest Qigong is, I, I can't say enough about it. Just the foundation is so strong. And, you know, Master Lin, he's somebody that helps you discover yourself. He doesn't make it about him. He's the most humble person that you will ever meet. <laughs> and it's, that's important to me. I've modeled myself very much after him and how I work with people and how um, my pur what my purpose is, which is to help people discover their 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 true self and their own healing capacity so to bring this full circle um, I've transformed so much and I can't wait to share more so this is my healing story thanks for watching check out springforestjigong.com uh, start doing it with me it's amazing you're going to feel the energy and it will just make you happy. It'll make you a happier person. So thanks for watching. I am just really grateful for this experience. And, and now it's time to keep moving on my certification process. I'm gonna take the Qi Saj class, which is like a Qigong massage type class. Um, I'm gonna take that in a couple weeks here and then I will be a certified healer pretty soon so exciting times um, this is my story and feel free to comment below anything you want to share or how you're doing <laughs> um, as always this is a community and I look forward to interacting with you guys so have a good week and as always can't wait to be with you next week.